today is my second decluttering project for 2020. If you've not seen my decluttering video where I share the first five decluttering projects that we are going to tackle this year, I will link that in a card above. In that video, I talked about my first one that I shared, which was my spice organization. So I think it was last week I got my spices all organized and I shared it with you in a video. So I will put that video in a card above as well. So today we will be tackling my medication. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So at the beginning of 2020, I decided I was going to narrow my decluttering projects down to five. Because here's the issue that I have. I like to multitask. I will start 15 different projects at one time and not complete one. I told myself I was not doing that this year. So I shared a video to where I talked about the first five we were going to tackle. I cannot tackle anything else until those first five are done. So once we get those five done, then we'll move to another five. So I did share my spice organization. It looks great. So today we're moving to the medication. Medication has been something that I have really struggled with. I've had them in the bathroom. I have had them in the kitchen. I've had them in the pantry. I've had them in drawers. I've had them in cabinets and nothing has worked. So we are going to try something totally different today and I'm going to share the entire process. Before we get to the actual kitchen, I just wanted to introduce you to the video and explain a little bit before we got to the nitty gritty, getting this medication organized. So now I'm going to cut to the kitchen and I'm going to share the entire process with you. Okay, so this is where my medication is right now, what we call the medicine cabinet. And I just really don't think this is the best solution. I have tried several times with this one cabinet, keeping medication, and I don't think it's working for me. So I'm considering putting things in a drawer. I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure what drawer I will use. But I'm thinking, because we also have medication in the kids' bathroom as well, so I'm thinking we need to pull everything down, get everything in one central location, sort through everything, and then make the decision. So I'm going to pull everything out, sort, get rid of expired things, and then determine what I am going to do. Everything is pulled out of the cabinet. If you see, everything's clean. All I've got to do is clean the actual cabinet now, but everything has been pulled out. I've got a chair to make sure it was off that top shelf. So everything is now laying on the counter. Look at all of this. All of this from here over is stuff that was expired or that we do not need. That is a lot, you guys. So before I take care of anything else, I am going to get rid of this stuff. I'm going to look up how to um, get rid of medication before I do that. Some of this stuff, like these two things, can be donated. 
that can be donated this water pump thing we've never used and I'm gonna get rid of all of that so all of that that's a lot so we've got bandages and first aid things here sunscreens and aloe we've got ointments then I um, divided it out I did keep two of the pill organizers just in case we've got kids medication here adult medication here and some of this stuff over here is for my mother-in-law so I'm probably gonna put that in the bathroom like in a little box so that she knows that's her stuff so now what we're gonna do is determine a system I'm not really sure the system that we're going to use so what I need to do now is determine what I'm gonna do is a drawer the right solution do I leave this stuff in a cabinet do I move it to the bathroom what is going to be the most beneficial thing to do here so I'm probably going to clean all of this stuff out over here clean it up and spend the next hour or so trying to think of what I want to do because I want all of this in one spot the issue with putting it in a drawer is that this and I know I have peroxide in the bathroom so I'm going to pull the stuff out of there is those things are too too tall those things are too tall for a drawer so I'm going to have to think of a good solution for all of this so I'm going to right now take care of all this and then try to come up with the correct solution for our house now I am in my kitchen and I wanted to share with you where I have the medication stored now and if you hear something that is my coffee maker it's just now after school I just got home and y'all it's been one of those days that I need some coffee so originally the medication was over here this is where y'all saw it before and I will share with you what is in that cabinet during my cabinet declutter video because that has now been organized nothing else in the kitchen has but that has been organized so that's where it was previously to the left of the microwave and now it has been moved over here by the sink and don't mind the sink y'all look real life right here I told y'all I don't like to hand wash dishes look look at all of the dishes in the sink <laughs> they've been in there for a few days I just don't want to hand wash them and that's driving me nuts I don't know why I can't get that to stand up okay so in my spice organization video you saw these two drawers right here so here's the second one the middle one that is one spice drawer and here is the second spice drawer so if you've not seen that I don't know if I've mentioned it already I will link that in a card above and that is what those two drawers look like so the last drawer over here is where some of the medication is and then this very last cabinet over here is where the rest of it is I decided instead of going with just a drawer system or just a cabinet system to do a combination of the two because using one has never worked in the past so I'm using a cabinet which has three shelves and then the drawer so we'll start with the drawer so the drawer here basically holds band-aids and things like that we have been in this drawer I cannot tell you how many times we've had this set up for about three weeks now it's been very very beneficial and I really like that we used a drawer now the organizers in here I pulled them from different places in the house did not buy them I want to say these two came in a set from TJ Maxx and then this came in a set from Walmart the kitchen section I think you can get three for a dollar so the first section up here is basically thermometers and y'all I'll be honest I need to go through here because I don't think all of these thermometers work so I need to go through here and see which ones work and which ones don't and declutter those but I just didn't do it during this project so we've got all of the thermometers up here and you might wonder what these are these are the little plastic sleeves that go for the ones that go in your mouth so that is what's in the first section second section here is all of the band-aid so any size band-aid is here and then in the back are all of the cups for medication syringes for medication anything like that anything that we need to measure medication is back here then here we've got a pill cutter just like random little pill organizers some extra nail clippers 
uh, my biggest peel organizer here and that is it you guys so that is how we have this drawer organized thermometers band-aids medication measurements i guess you'll say that cups and syringes peel organizers and i got some nail clippers back there so that is what is in the drawer and then the left cabinet here is what holds all of the rest of the medication. So there are three shelves in this cabinet that I'm using for medication. And the organizers, I just pulled random places around the house. These are the Y weave baskets from Target. Now this does not, you're not supposed to see that. These cabinets here are just one big open space inside. So that's why you see kind of something sticking here because all of that has not been organized yet. So this is a kitchen section from Walmart organizer. I think it comes in a set of three, four dollar. Why weave small basket from Target. Same thing there. And then that is a Sterilite organizer at the top. And if you notice, I have labels. That one says first aid. And then the second shelf, that one says kids meds. And then the bottom shelf says adult meds. Now I have not attached those to the organizers yet because I wanna use command strips. I was going to use hot glue, but I thought, no, nah, I'm just gonna wait and get command strips. I don't have those yet. So I just wanna sit those up there so you would know. And in case you're wondering, all this is a scrapbook paper that I've glued together use my label maker i will link my label maker below i absolutely love it and it's inexpensive and i just laminated it that is it so we'll start with the bottom shelf so the bottom shelf here this here these are ointments so anything that's in a tube is over here or gel triple antibiotic ointment um itch relief cream okay i guess i don't i didn't know that was in there Looks like some stuff from medicated ointment from the doctor. So anything that was an ointment, and y'all, this is, what do they call these? To keep you from vomiting type thing. Oh, a suppository? Is that what that's called? I don't remember. So all the ointments are in here. Second thing here on the left, all of the adult medication is in here. And I'm just gonna share with you real fast what it looks like. I mean, it's not really fancy. It's just all in here. We've got NyQuil, Tums, no spray, um, aller Ooh, children's allergy medicine should go in the top one. I guess my husband's been in here and it's not labeled yet. Nighttime sleep aid, which we don't use. You guys, Pepto-Bismol. So all sorts of things, Tylenol, anything that is for adults is in this organizer here. So I am going to label that with adult medication. Then the second shelf or the middle shelf is kids medicine. And then over here on the right, this is basically my mother-in-law sewing things. I cannot even sew a button on a shirt. So she keeps some things here with thread and needles in case I need a quick you know, him on something, or if Kate, you know, a doll needs sold up. Kate had a sleeve that was messed up a few weeks ago, so that's all here. And then this is all of the kids' medication. So these are things like allergy medicine, some um, doctor-recommended re medication. This is children's, I don't even know what that is. Robitussin that needs to be pitched. It's about empty. We've got... We've got medication from the doctor. Like I said, we've got ibuprofen. We've got nausea medicine that we haven't had to use. And then I have some kids Dramamine. So that is all in here. Anything that pertains to the kids is in this basket. Then last but not least is the top shelf. So the first thing you see there, one of these needs to go in my cleaning section because this is what I use to clean my mirrors and that bottle needs to be refilled, which is why there's two in here. One of these is supposed to go in my cleaning bottle. I'm gonna set that to the side. So basically, the very top is first aid items. So anything pertaining to first aid is in this Sterilite organizer here. So we've got uh, ice packs, we've got saline packs, thinks um, that's some um, eyeglass things. We've got gauze, 
um, rubber gloves, anything pertaining to that rock tape, medical tape, any type of first aid items, they are in here. And that sits sideways because it won't fit this way on that top shelf. And that is what the medication cabinet looks like. And we've had it like this for probably a couple weeks and it's working really good. I like how I decided to organize everything out into their own bins. So we know all of the adult medication is here. This is the ointment here. We've got children's medication here. All of the sewing kits for my mother-in-law. Then the first aid items are at the top. And if you notice, we put the children's medication on the second shelf because it's harder for our kids to get to. We do not want them to be able to get them down. You know how that goes. You wanna make sure that medication is out of reach of your children. So that is what we have done. So that is how all of that is organized. And then we'll just label the front with adult meds, kids meds, and first aid items. So that is the cabinet. And then one more time, let me share the drawer with you. So in the drawer, we have thermometers, band-aids, um, medication cups and syringes, pill organizers, pill cutters, and some nail clippers. So you guys, that is how we have our medication organized. So that is how I have decided to organize the medication in the kitchen. I'm not sure if it's a system that's gonna stick. Fingers crossed that it works better than any other method I've tried. I think the combination of using the cabinet and the drawer is going to be better instead of shoving everything in the cabinet or everything in the drawer. So, so far it is working. We've been using it for the last couple of weeks and no major issues yet. So in the comments below, I want you to share with me some decluttering projects that you need to tackle in 2020. I'm going to go off of that list when I make my next five decluttering projects. So let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to poor people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.